Growing up, I've always loved like folding paper airplanes, seeing how they fly, doing flips. And yeah, that probably dates back all the way to like first grade. Because I've always been into origami. I played baseball for 12 years, so I have a bit of an arm. Hundred and fifty one feet, I think, is what they said. The Red Bull Paper Airplane competition consists of local qualifying events. We had one here at Missouri S and T. And if you win either the distance or the time category, then you go in that specific event to the national championships. And you start with a sheet of A4 paper, and that is 100 grams on the day of competition. Yeah, specifically with the uh, distance plane, which is, um, I guess, considered like a dart, because it kind of looks like one. I've been able to shift the center of gravity forward slightly, and so that's allowed um, the mass to be more concentrated, but you want like really precise folding uh, for it to be streamlined. For the uh, time plane, you also want precision as well, and then also adding like uh, trailing edge uh, flaps on the back. Yeah, uh, these on the outside for uh, stability control. My best experience uh, related to my degree has probably been doing uh, research on campus um, related to aerospace engineering. S&T really helped me prepare for that, uh, specifically with the uh, like research I did. The people here are some of the most incredible people I've ever met and will make friends with. People just doing amazing challenges, accomplishments, and really just pushing each other to be greater in their everyday lives. Throughout my entire journey here at S&T, my dream job has probably been working for Boeing, just because they're a really strong aerospace company and also growing up my parents worked for them for a very long time so fortunately I do have a job with Boeing lined up full time working in St. Louis on uh, flight simulators. Thankful for coming to s and and it's helped me really achieve where I've wanted to go all this time. Going to Denver was uh, quite the surreal experience. So I didn't expect to be the national champion, but yeah, things worked out amazingly. And I ended up throwing 60 meters. With that, became the number one in the world throwing by a uh, substantial margin. And if you win distance or time again in that, then you go to Salzburg, Austria uh, to compete in the world final against 57 countries. The world's experience was very surreal. After the nationals throw, the eyes were on me. Even with not winning the competition, you know, the, the main goal is just to go there and have fun and connect with people from around the world in a really fun way, just throwing paper airplanes. Yeah, definitely just an insane experience, and especially that it all started at s and was uh, pretty memorable.